Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Nicki Minaj is out there to just basically bring the gig into the Gig City tour. Because, listen, tell me why she was on live talking about bringing Kat Williams. I was like, okay, I love this, all right. We're going to be talking about Monica basically being out there, being thankful for Nicki Minaj. We are also going to be talking about, uh, you know, Nicki Minaj opening up about Falling For You, as well as, um, you know, Rihanna's birthday is actually today. And uh, Chloe Bailey was out there uh, doing a cover on money long song now these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing extremely amazing and uh, without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all, you guys, we are going to talk about Nicki Minaj, all right? Now, this is what she had to say. Here, stylists, I want to know. Now, I know that this is the busiest man in show business, okay? I know that he's rich, and I know that, you know, he's the funniest man in showbiz. Um, well, can hit up Cat Williams? And ask him what would be his price to, to, hi, Haiti, how are you? To be a part of the Pink Friday 2 Gag City Tour. Oh, here, here's what I did want to ask you guys. Outside of here, stylists. There you heard I... it, you guys. There you heard it. Uh, Nicki Minaj is out there letting us know that she is open to having Kat Williams on the Gag City Tour. And she's out there, you guys, honestly doing things that we did not even expect. And it seems like she has a couple of tricks under her sleeves. And personally, I do feel like bringing Kat Williams to the Gag City Tour would be like a very wise decision all right it is not new for artists to actually do have comedy sets on their tours okay and i do feel like if she does this this is going to be amazing and i feel like bringing kate williams also brings in that gig factor do you understand what i'm saying so i feel like this is a good strategic move but hey that's just my opinion so do hop into the comment section you guys and let me know what you think about Nicki minaj letting us know that she would like to have kate williams on tour let me know in the comment section because some people have reservations because they feel like Kate Williams has ruffled a lot of feathers, you know, uh, during his interview at the Club Shay Shay. And so people feel like, oh, well, Nicki Minaj associating herself with Kate Williams will have some people feeling some type of way about her as an artist. So let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about that. All right. Personally, I do feel like it's, it's I feel like it's, it's, it's something worth, worth doing. And if you know anything about Nicki Minaj, she's not going off of what the masses have to say about anything. She's her own person. She's not f afraid to actually go against the status quo and, you know, stand by herself. She's not afraid to do that. So, I mean, if she's not scared to do that, then who are we to be afraid on her behalf, okay? The next thing that we're going to be talking about, you guys, Monica went on a live and was basically appraising Nicki Minaj and appreciating her for giving her the opportunity to actually come out there on tour with her and she was like okay Nicki Minaj is one of those people who are out there always praying for me like even when I wasn't feeling well and I love it when people love loudly like this because a lot of these people do adore Nicki Minaj okay behind closed doors but just so they can go with what the industry wants when it comes to Nicki Minaj a lot of them really are afraid to come out in the open and give her flowers so the fact that monica is out there boldly um you know professing a love for Nicki minaj and how much of an amazing person she is for me honestly that's just um you know a red that's just a green flag i mean the fact that you always reach out to me when i didn't feel well you were ready to pray and was sending words that really meant a whole lot these are the things people can't see that make me love you from the bottom of my heart and we're going to show up and show out in every city. I told y'all I'm going to start jogging. As of Monday, every time y'all see me, I'm going to be running. I got to slim down, trim down, working with my coach twice a day, doing everything that I need to do to make sure that I'm giving my absolute best to some of the best people in the world, the ones that have supported me, the ones that have been there for me. And always think of me, the fact that you always reach out to me when I didn't feel well, you were ready to pray and was sending words that really meant a whole lot. These are the things people can't see that make me love you from the bottom of my heart. And we're going to show up and show out in every city. I told y'all I'm going to start jogging. As of Monday, every time y'all see me, I'm going to be running. I got to slim down, trim down, 
working with my coach twice a day, doing everything that I need to do to make sure that I'm giving my absolute best to some of the best people in the world. The ones that have supported me, the ones that have been there for me, and always think of me. The fact that you know, one thing that no one knows mm -hmm. until today is that I'm going on tour, the Pink Friday 2 tour with Nicki Minaj. Oh. It is starting, yeah. Yes. It's starting on uh, March 1st, and I get a chance to hit all these cities that mean so much to me. Atlanta, of course, New yeah. Orleans, Nashville. Uh, we're coming to every city we possibly mm. can, and I'm really grateful for Nikki because she's one of those people that has always said, Monica meant everything to my childhood. And some people, they act like they forget. No, I And forget. so it's pretty cool not to be forgotten and to be called for things like yes. such. So we're going to show up and show out. All right, we're going to be looking for... One thing that no one knows... And somebody was pointing out Jennifer Hudson, Nance, Hudson's, um, I'm sorry, Demina, when Monica was there for an interview and she was talking about going on tour with Nicki Minaj. Somebody was saying, oh, well, Jennifer was giving off a standoff, a standoffish vibe. And it seemed like... Uh, you know, she was feeling some type of way about it's either Nicki Minaj or Monica and then people started pointing out that well back then uh, Jennifer Hudson made it pretty clear that she will pick Lil Kim over Nicki Minaj and I'm like oh okay that's cool if that's who you like nobody really cares like it's it's okay if that's who you like okay but to give off the energy just because somebody is publicly showing appreciation on you know who they actually love is insane to me especially if you are a TV host do you understand what I'm saying we get you have your sentiments you're not being forced to say you like Nicki Minaj but if someone is out there showing love to who they appreciate once your business of giving them a stinky I don't know face or something like that to me that's just unprofessional if you ask me okay because you are on national tv and you are a tv host and you don't know the one who's being asked to pick a side this is your host who is talking about the things that are going on in her life and who's you know publicly appreciating an artist who has helped her so honestly speaking Go away, okay? Uh, respectfully, I mean, respect you, you're an ego winner, but like, if you're gonna be messy like this, then respectfully go away. The next thing that we're gonna be talking about, you guys, happy birthday to the queen, Rihanna, you guys. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Rihanna. Uh, we wish her many more, we wish her blessings, we wish her more life. And I will say this, you guys, as like the older. I'm getting the more information I'm getting on the industry, the more understanding I'm getting in as far as the industry is concerned, the more inclined I am towards Rihanna, honestly, the more I sort of now understand why she might not be interested in making music anymore the more i understand that um you know there must be some things going on the more i'm actually falling in love with her and i promise you the day that rihanna decides to open her mouth and speak all hell is is actually going to break loose okay so let me know you guys in the comment section just drop a um, happy birthday message to of course rihanna and uh the next thing that we're going to be talking about you guys in her life speaking about rihanna in a live uh, Instagram live, Nicki Minaj let us know that she originally wrote the hook um, to Pink Birthday for Rihanna. And I was like, oh, Nicki actually does, you know, it seems like they have got a good relationship with Rihanna. And I'm like, okay, I see. And she said that, oh, well, she actually did love, um, you know, the song more. So she decided to keep it for herself. And I was like, okay, I see. I see. I wonder what Rihanna would have sound sounded like on that track, okay, if she had given it to rihanna let me know you guys in the comment section do you think that this is a song that rihanna would have been able to carry what exactly do you think about that the next thing that we're going to be talking about chloe bailey is actually back at doing covers once more all right she was out there uh, covering money long song made for me and she ate in my own opinion i feel like she did her thing but you know how people are like when it comes to chloe bailey people always have some things to say about her people are like oh my goodness is getting obsessive oh my goodness why is she, does she continue doing this she's such a huge star she shouldn't be doing covers like this and i'm like this girl came up um you know from covers so it's really really unfair to expect her to just all of a sudden stop it seems like it's something that she genuinely actually enjoys and i feel like in my own opinion if somebody as big as her is not proud to be doing your covers 
it's actually flattering. I think to many long, I think she's actually flattered. But hey, that's just my opinion. So let me know. Do you find it weird that Chloe is still out there doing covers? Personally, as someone who literally watched her grow, um, you know, doing these covers with her sisters, I do, with her sister, I absolutely do not see anything wrong with this okay and uh the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about a snippet of um you know bobby and wiz khalifa you guys it seems like there is an episode that's actually going to be upcoming uh wiz khalifa sit sat down with bobby and when i looked at when i watched that interview i was like oh my goodness this is going to be hilarious and i'm actually going to watch it okay one of the things that actually stood up out is um you know, Wiz was out there talking about, you know, how he works for his kid. And Bobby's like, oh, you work for your kid? As if, like, he's saying he actually does go to work for Sebastian, like, as an employed by Sebastian. And the way both of them were just, I, I felt like it was a vibe. And I cannot wait to watch the rest of that interview, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, it seems like Billie Eilish is actually under fire right now. Well, there is a video that is... Uh, currently circulating of uh, Billie Eilish seemingly uh, basically getting shocked that there were a lot of TikTok stars at the People's Choice Awards. Now, it seems like TikTokers are really not feeling it. Uh, people feel like, oh, well, she was being condescending. But personally, I do feel like she was probably just shocked. Like, do you know what I'm saying? A lot of these things when it comes to entertainment, TikToking, influencing, these are not traditional things. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are things that are now just coming up and it's going to take a time for there to be like a readjustment in as far as, um, you know, accepting influencers as actual celebrities. So I do not blame Billie Eilish, the Grammy winning, People's Choice Awards winning, <laughs> Billboard Awards winning artists for her to actually be surprised that there were a lot of TikTokers um, you know, in that, in the building. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, one TikToker who seemed to not take it well at all is, um, one guy who does dances, I guess, <laughs> who does TikTok dances. He went on a rant and was out there talking about how, you know, he was such a fan of Billie Eilish and now he cannot even reason it, uh, you know, with the songs anymore. I'm just going to insert you guys the snippet of that boy talking about this entire Billie Eilish situation. And uh, you let me know what you think about that, all right? The Eilish being disgusted that TikTokers were at uh, the People's Choice. I was one of them. First off, Billie Eilish, I am so sorry uh, that I didn't acknowledge your greatness and bow down to you being another human being. I uh, Here, there it is right now. And second, um, People's Choice invited us personally. Uh, everyone that attended People's Choice and was sitting at those tables, we were invited by People's Choice. So hate on them. But the most sad thing, let me just wipe my tear real quick. The most sad thing is what I, I was a I was a Billie Eilish stan. I stand you, Billie Eilish. And now I don't think I can renegade to uh, any of your, your songs anymore. So th thanks for taking out all my content. I'm just going to address this clip of Billie Eilish being discussed. Well, there you had it, people. Do you think that him blasting Billie Eilish like this is going to have any impact on Billie Eilish's, um, you know, career? Or do you think that, well, he's sort of like over um, estimating the impact that he has in as far as music is concerned? Now, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that I post. I post each and every single day and I keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world on Instagram, on Twitter and about all things trending. Until my next one, see you.